guys, welcome back to the video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this door right here. Now this is my three tall uh, wireless Neo door, as I like to call it. And is expandable up to 24 blocks, as you can see. It is reasonably fast and also pretty compact. And everything in the store is made by me except for this triple piston extender which was made by Quipla and I will leave his video in the description. So yeah, let's build it. To start off, we're going to have three pistons up like this and an extra piston on this side and an observer right there. Next we're going to kind of four blocks like that, and then we'll place a wool block there with redstone on it, and another wool block there with a repeater set to four ticks on it. Next we're going to grab our piston, our sticky piston, and face it down like that with an observer. And we're going to have a block there, and a glass block there lime wool there with redstone on top and lime wool there. Next we're going to have a wool block there with redstone on top and there. And then we're going to take our note blocks and put them there and there also with redstone on top. Next we're going to grab some observers and put them there and there and then bring them up like that point them into droppers. Now the reason I'm using droppers here is because if you wanted them to be quiet you could just put hoppers pointing into them and then put items inside and then they wouldn't make any noise. But I did not do that here. Now we're going to take observers pointing up into these blocks. And then you can go ahead fill this in, so three blocks on this side and two blocks on this side. We're going to take our button and we'll put one there and one there and then you can go ahead and press it. As you can see that is the closing of the door done. Next we're going to go up four blocks like that, place three sticky pistons facing down there and we'll put blocks there. Next we're going to take observer output from there into those blocks and onto this redstone and then we're going to have observers pointing down there with repeaters set to one tick on top of them and then we'll come out a block here and we'll have a redstone lamp there and there with one tick repeaters on top and we will have observers there and there with three tick repeaters on top. Next we're just going to get observer to there and there. And we'll put observers there and there as well. Then we're going to put redstone on top of there, an observer there, a block there, a repeater set to four ticks there, block there with four blocks coming off it like that. We'll put redstone dust all the way over there and another repeater set to four ticks there. Then we'll put a block here and a block here with redstone on it. And then we'll put another block here with redstone and then a block here with a four tick repeater. And then we'll put a block there and a block there, and we'll just put redstone on those blocks. And lastly, we're going to take a piston, and we're going to put it right there facing downwards, and a target block right there. And then we can just fill in these blocks with iron, or whatever block you choose. And that should be the base door all completed. 
it opens and it closes. Now, this is just the main slice of the door. If you want to make it bigger, like I have here, then there is a smaller slice you can build. So if we come off a block here, we're going to place three pistons up, and then five blocks like that. And then we're going to take some note blocks, put them there with redstone on top, and then observers, and then our dropper, and then another observer, and some redstone like that. And then, if we come up to the top here, we are going to place in our sticky pistons, and then basically all you have to build for this part is Quipla's beautiful tileable triple piston extender. So, observe there, wool there and there, redstone there, a repeater there, and we're going to put a lamp there, a uh, repeater, a wool with redstone on top, an observer there, repeater set to three ticks, and an observer there, and an observer there. And then all we have to do is fill this part in, and that is our expansion slice completed. Now obviously you wouldn't build it one block away like I did, you would put it right up against the door, on either side. But for sake of clarity, I've, I've put it one block away. And as you can see, it's expandable up to 24 blocks. You can put 11 blocks on this side and 12 blocks on that side. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you next time.